Hi there. So today I'm going to teach you guys on uh, how to overclock our Raspberry Pi. So I'm using Raspberry Pi 2. And the OS is uh, Open Elect Media Center. So Open Elect, they have this uh, config dot text whereby you can edit the config dot text and uh, simply uh, overclock your Raspberry Pi. Okay, but you can adjust the clock and uh, there's a lot more stuff so for this for overclocking this uh, raspberry pi you will need a card reader whereby you will need it to read this uh, micro sd and uh, pc of course and uh, that's all i will show you the guide later okay what you have to do right now is you insert uh, the mic, uh, what is it? micro SD card reader with the card micro SD itself and then you insert into any USB port once you have insert the USB port uh, it will automatically open this remo removable disk whereby the micro SD will be automatically open so inside that we have a lot of things so one of the thing that you must focus is uh, on a uh, config text. To open this config text, I'm using this uh, Notepad plus plus rather than just default Notepad because why? For the default Notepad, you will see text like this. It's quite hard to see and uh, it's not tidy. But of course, you can uh, adjust the view if I'm not mistaken. I mean the word rep, but it's also not not good, right? Okay, never mind. So what I'm trying to do is uh, open it using this open a uh, notepad plus plus. So it's more tidy and more easier to read. To overclock this thing, you just need to go to this thing. You have to read. Uh, you have to understand everything, and then to overclock it, we go to this part whereby uh, currently it's no overclocking and it's default. For this, I will change my mode to high. So I just follow all of these details to and replace it with these details. So what I do next is uh, I just follow it. And there we go. Once we have done everything, I just save and uh, close. So it will, it will be written into the removable, removable disk. And uh, that's all. You can try it. Uh, you overclock uh, open elect into the Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.